از روزهایی که به صفت داکتر طب در خدمت شما قرار گرفتم از نگرانی ها و امید ها و رویاهایتان ما و شما پیشرفت های قابل ملاحظه ای را نصیب شده ایم علت امده آن قاطعیت خستگی ناپذیری و عشق شما خواهران به وطن و سعادت آن بوده است برای آن که یک بار دیگر افغانستان آزاد آرام و سلخامی داشته باشیم آگاهی وسیع یافتم The image United States people has from Afghan women that uh, they went through a lot of tragedies, a lot of disasters, a very hardship time, and suffered a lot, and they are right. خورم سب که استاد میشه پس که ایسا میکنه ماده اینجا به نظرم خورتر از چیزی که بیدمه The stadium uh, is, a, is a quite a tragic place. It, during the period of the Taliban, it was used as a place to wreak out acts of vengeance and brutality against people who were considered to have broken the law. البته در دوران که طالبای جا بودن یک وضع استثنایی بود ما در او وقت کمرای دکتر کار میکردم بسیار با یک ترس و با یک وحشت کار میکردیم We were resisting, tolerating the situation. The life was full of risks. The American flag flies again over our embassy in Kabul. Terrorists who once occupied Afghanistan now occupy cells at Guantanamo Bay. I'm here on behalf of the President to express our support uh, for the people of Afghanistan as they try to establish a new order here uh, to rebuild their country, to free Afghanistan from the remnants of the Taliban and Al-Qaeda. <laughs> بسیار تشکر از سوال برادرم ما به صفت یک تبع با استفاده از حقی که برای هر شهروند و تبع در قانون اساسی جدید افغانستان داده شد و در قانون انتخابات داده شد و با استفاده از جوی سیاسی موجوده در کشور و به اساس تقاضای مردم افغانستان مردان زنان جوانان از گوشه های مختلف افغانستان از اقوام مختلف افغانستان از ولایات مختلف و سمت های مختلف خود کاندیدای مقام ریاست جمهوری افغانستان نمودیم
ما فکر میکنم که در وجود ما حتما وحدت ملی تامین میشه چرا به صفت یک خانم خانمای افغانستان در جنگ ها و در کشمکش ها و در ویرانی افغانستان هیچ گونه سهمی نداشتند همان طوری که خانما آموزگار مهربان و مادر خوب هستند میتونن که مدیر مدبر و کارمند صادق دولت خدمت برادرم به عرض برسانم که من جز خدمتگزاری به مردم افغانستان کم کردن دردها و رنجهای مردم افغانستان و با سازی و آبادی افغانستان هیچ گونه آرزوی دیگه ندارم سلام خدا تقدیم میکنم ما برتان بگویم که ما یک خانم افغان هستم که سی و هفت سال در خارج از افغانستان زندگی کردم و این حال سه سال میشه که ما پس دوباره به افغانستان برگشتیم در انتخابات تازه افغانستان که معلوم دار شما میفهمین برای اولین بار است که ملت افغان رئیس دولت خود انتخاب میکنه ما کاندیدیشانه استقبال میکنم خیر مقدم میکنم خود کاندید شدن دکتر مسعود جلال از فرهنگ و تمدن افغانی ما صحبت میکنه میتونست که در دین اسلام بگوزن حقوقای بسیار به حد داره اما اسلام اجازه نمیده آمر مردها زنا باشه هیچگونه مانعه شرعی و دینی برای کاندیدای یک خانم، یک شهروند و لوزن باشه یا مرد در مقام ریاست جمهوری اسلامی افغانستان وجود ندارد. چرا در پرنفوسترین کشور اسلامی دنیا اندونیزی یافت یک زن به نام خانم اسکارنو رئیس جمهور است؟ اگر مانعی شرعی و دینی وجود داشته باشد چرا خانم بین نظیر بوتو در پاکستان خانم خالد زیا و خانم شیخ حسینه در بنگلادش و خانم چیلر در کشور اسلامی ترکیه رهبری کردند از مسلمان بیتر کیستو و از گلاب آدم بگویم کلگی مسلمان هستم کلگی افغان هستم کلگی محترم هستم پیپل که میکنید چینجیز در دنیا دیورد نیست دیورد نیست دیورد نیست دیورد نیست دیورد نیست دیورد نیست Uh, brought many changes and served a lot in the uh, United States and he is one of the father of United States yeah that built this United States and what he was saying was that uh, uh, there is nothing to fear about it only fear itself and he was right <laughs> so you cannot be fearful and do something great لا إله إلا الله. أنا ولا كم أدفع زوجك لما بنتي تمرم تمام مش كوشة. مبارزه دلیر مردان و زنان افغانستان با توجه جامعه جهانی و سازمان ملل متحده این اینگوی نای استود این امرجنسی لایا جرگا فار پریزیدنشل الیکشن دی هد دیس داوت هاو ا وومن کیم اینتو دی سنانیو سازمان ملل متحد دیگر زن جامعه افغان محکوم مظلوم و اسیر به شمار نمی آید ای واز نومنیتید ای پریزنتید مای پلاتفورم این سپیش تو پیپل وقتی که دکتر مسعود خود کاندید کرد و ختم شخان تمام وکلا برای دکتر مسعود جلال بسیار علاقه من شدن و این یک بیانیه بسیار خوب داد یک بیانیه تاریخی و این بیانیه سبب شد که وکلا بسیار زیاد به طرف از این مراجعه کردن the representatives showed a lot of interest to me about 160 seats reserved for women representatives have to select a transitional voting started so it was voting process people were giving their votes for candidates of presidency of Afghanistan. I couldn't give up.
Prior to standing on the election for presidency, uh, I was wondering uh, what will be the reaction. So what surprised me that my votes was from different groups, from different provinces, from all directions, from men and women. Muhtaram Hamid Karzai, Yag Hazaru, Dussado, Dawado, Panjray. That the person who came in second place was not a man, was a woman. Two thirds of the votes that she received were from men. Men would come up to me and tell me, I'm going to vote for the woman. I just want to let you know that, that I support women. I want to show the world that we're not the Taliban. And just a few months ago under the Taliban, women had very few rights. As a matter of fact, in public places, you would never see their faces or they would be arrested. Next to us, the woman who ran for president, who will forever be a pioneer in this proud yet tortured country. This is Dr. Masoura Jalal, who came in second place in the presidential race today. Dr. Jalal, thank you for joining us. You're most welcome. Tell me, how did you feel today when you made your speech to the lawyer Jirga and ran for president of Afghanistan? Uh, to be frank, after I made my speech, I received lots of attention in the meeting. And I received uh, many people representing different provinces of the country and uh, stating to me their commitment that they are going to elect me the final question for you, the whole purpose of this election today, he's a transitional president, Hamid Karzai, for two years. Yes. The idea is for all 22 million Afghans to vote in a presidential election in 2004. Would you consider running again? I will think about it. <laughs> will you let us know when you know the answer? Of course. After emergency lawyer Jirga, the people started coming to me and asking me to be a candidate. دیگه <laughs> دیگه زن خود جنگ نمی کنم مادر به هیچ وجه به هیچ قیمتی حاضر نمیشه سر خودش بره قطره خون مردم نمی خواهد بریزه به هیچ وجه ما برای تان معلوم است مادر چی رقم است دیگه Whoever takes interest in the program can run the program Man, woman, you to no difference at all, no discrimination at all Any voter who have time, energy, interest دیوه دست کهرمان شقه علمی یا منوی کهرمانی دن the Afghanistan po moshkilato ke zan jahan ta wukhudo ch Afghanistan shad zaham de dege liaqat awartia lari ch de Afghanistan zahamat pagara wakhdi Mardum Afghanistan orzu man dastan ba kasi rai betan kunha marham guzari kona balai zahmai mardum Afghanistan wa kandidai Dr. Masudera not only is it a good thing, Afghanistan is a good thing. Every word is a good thing. It should be a good thing.
آقا جوان چند کردی که در رمضان خواستی ما را؟ نه یه و نه نه خیلی آقا با قدر سمسا نمازه بخوانیم سیب کنیم نمازه بخوانیم سیب ما در خدمت تانه سیب سیب با مرام بزنم مرام باشیم برادر مسیم بخیر باشیم زنده باشیم مرام باشیم برادر بخیر باشیم خداوند شما را با عزت داشته باشم I plan to run for presidency of Afghanistan uh, again and again and again. It doesn't matter if I lose, that is not a failure. I count it success. It is waking up the mentality of leadership of women of Afghanistan. And I will keep independent and uh, I will keep going and I won't give up. I never give up, I am committed. <laughs> از مزار ما داره بر از این شکست Any kind of violence right now is associated with elections. Um, before a couple weeks before, as we are now, uh, about two and a half, three weeks before the elections, that violence is going to increase, especially in provinces where there are more Taliban, more remnants of the Taliban. Zabul is one of those provinces. We just got some breaking news that there might have been some more people killed in Zabul province. The young people of Zabul have chosen Masuda as their candidate. The, the young people have decided that she is kind of their representative. And it's very interesting because it's a conservative province. It's where um, more of the Taliban quote-unquote activity has been happening. And it's conservative, and usually conservative Muslims in Afghanistan do not uh, consider women to be able to run for president. So they think it's against Islamic law. Oh, it's a medical doctor house is borrowed up to election yeah and um, I don't have a private car and uh, my friends by turn they're sending their cars because I'm a presidential candidate and they say you shouldn't be walking here. Yeah? As you see, those are the brochure. There is uh, the biography of Dr. Masud Jalal. I didn't have the international community support in emergency law Ajurka, and I don't have the international community support now, not at all. Not political, not diplomatic, not financial, at all. <laughs> Thank you.
We're in um, the famous Blue Mosque of Mazar. Uh, Mr. Khanani is about ready to speak. It looks like thousands, over probably 5,000 people here, supporters for him. It's a pretty chaotic scene with a lot of guns and a lot of soldiers. <laughs> این امر و این انتخابات دهلیز بسوی سعادت و خوشبختی شما ملت ناره کشی الله سرزمین که و یوم نیتون کامیابی های ما و کاستی های ما را دیدین خدا کنه که به نظر شما هموطنان عزیز باشم بور نکید خدا هم مراول بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم اسم ما عبدالرشید دوستم است یکی از کاندید های مستقل ریاست جمهوری آینده کشور هستم بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم هرگاه و یاری خداوند متعال و به توجه و کمک و همکاری مردم افغانستان زنان مردان و جوانان AWAS is an organization that we've been supporting and helping them provide more resources to the candidates themselves. Our main goal was to focus the people on the campaign. We had less than a month to provide these candidates with this communication material. It was also important for us, and because we had these 18 candidates to work with, we wanted to have 18 different products in terms of video, in terms of radio, and in terms of design. The challenge was fantastic. So we haven't been sleeping, I think, for about six weeks. This biography is Dr. Masoud Jalal. This is the people who are not aware of it. The first Doctor <laughs> You represent your people, you come into power by your people, and then once you get the power, you transfer the power to people. You make the people powerful. But I have no doubt that there are uh, uh, Afghan women capable of running the country. Are the Afghans ready at this time in their history to vote a woman to become president. Uh, my guess is, my judgment is that probably not. Al-Hajj Ustad Mir Habibi Sahaili, Kul Umur Dar Maarif Afghanistan Khidmat Karda. And he is the father of education of Afghanistan, the first teacher who taught the girls in this country. The first principal who accepted to run a female school and he has six daughters, all master's degrees, living abroad, three of them. 
and, and now he's supporting a woman candidate. For Tulu Awaranu Puri, Katajik Dika was Bagdika Partundika Zaradi, for Tulu Puri Aralari, out the Tulu Halko and Mazgarabari. فامیدی نماینده مردم نماینده خریبا که خم مردم خورده شو و رو چی کنیم که دفعه دیگه شو که آرامی بیا آرامی شو مردم کار به سه کمه قمردا که بیکار است کلش باید خم مردم خورده شو و زنگ خم زد Some people are ripping up the Masood Jalal brochures. They're saying women can't be president, it's against Islam. And if a man can't uh, be a successful president, how will a woman ever be? Can you worry in a comedy, Bolori become your body, can Bolori in a comedy, Jabu come your body? How can I hit come your body? The Nuru Hosses in Paraba, you touch me, Lara by that, you do that to Talim, Yatui, Yat Kosuki, our Lori Dragito, Dr. Niki, the Nedity, our Dizabu Bolori, what is it? The Larka, what the Duraka, your father Bauk and Nava, what the Duku, that is a Mohima Havarda. Well, look at that come your body. Yes, thank you so much. A government of the people, by the people, and for the people. For several days, our team was following her in mosques, visiting mosques, visiting hospitals, visiting schools. And we organized several uh, shooting sessions. And we never managed to get a good picture. One of the reasons is that she's never smiling in public. As a woman, smiling to men can be very controversial and it can be very risky. So Fred was following her with his camera. And at one point she stops in the mosque and she's praying. And the sun comes on her face from the top. And this is the only picture that we have of her where she looks so human and so graceful. Mm -hmm. the, the first thing was the slogan. We believe that there was a common idea. As a mother, she gave life. As a doctor, she saves life. And at one point, as a teacher, it's life and hope. And in fact, we try to work on that. The message is life and hope, <laughs> and children, and flowers, and trees. This slogan, this. life and hope, we try to convince her to adapt it in all the compartments of her campaign. She was very receptive of uh, a lot of suggestions we made to her. Yeah, she yeah, was, yeah. She and I think it's also part of the intelligence of that person, is to be able to adapt herself, and even so to be able to change quite radically. I'm going to go to the house. I'm شما عکس دکتر the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go he said the cops told us specifically that you cannot put up Dr. Masuda Jalal's posters up in this district. And I said, are there any other cam oh, yes. uh, candidates' pictures up? He said, all the other candidates' pictures are up. And he says, I can't tell you why, because they wouldn't tell me why I can't put up Dr. Masuda Jalal's posters. <laughs> He says that, he says, it's not true. He says, give us her posters, we'll put them up ourselves. We didn't do that. Just now I received a call from the national TV. I'm giving it at, uh, my own opportunity yeah, for 20 minutes. So I have to use this, otherwise I lose it. So I come back quickly. You go to Afghani TV, yes. TV. Can we follow you? Yes. The national TV cassette that they uh, recorded is lost and somebody else says it is deleted. Well, what I wanted was just to record and the remaining part of my program that was not broadcasted. Did you have a lot of possibility to get on national TV during this? This is the campaign? second time. Uh -huh. What about Mr. Kazai? How many times? It's night. The, the TV belonged to him, yeah? <laughs>
اجتماعی در امر مصادی افغانستان و بازگشت داوطلبانه مهاجرین حل مازله های حال انسانی و اجتماعی از طرف بخشیدن زخم های ناشی از جنگ و تامین انکشاف اقتصادی اجتماعی افغانستان مورد توجه ما قرار خواهد داشت the first take we had with her where she was not actually very good and like you can see she's reading a big paper just beside the lens so that's why her eyes are just a little outside the crowd was amazingly excited i mean he, he is definitely a good speaker he made jokes during his uh, his speech he really managed to catch the people's attention very strongly it was uh, he was very good that day he came into the room, he stayed 3 minutes 30, the video clip is 2 minutes 45, one shot, he was out, and it was perfect. The idea was to play very much on this image of woman and mother, but at one point we were afraid that it would play against her, if she was seen only as the woman candidate. So that's why when we started the video clip, we see her here speaking in front of a male crowd, and the first pictures that we chose were men, in order for the public to see that she's not only the representative of women, but of everyone. And here is interesting also because she's distributing the bread and that refers directly to her logo. And I think the symbol of transmitting life is very important. And it's one of the rare pictures when we see her smiling. <laughs> She has more self-confidence now. I think she has a lot of courage because she exposed herself very clearly to be seen on TV, on posters. For women here, it's not easy to do that. وظیفه من امیس که این مردم جا به جا کنم چای بیتید وظیفه من امیس که رو بیتید ایجا گرشی رئیسی دفتر با اوزین آورد جنجالای ما خلاص است Since he is a lawyer and he is a professor of law and he respects his own profession so he doesn't stop me and when I am busy in my office, so some more attention he's paying to the children and family life, like shopping. What is interesting is that also at one point there was rumors, a lot of people in the country around were saying, oh, she's guided by her husband, she's just working for her, her husband, the husband is doing everything. One of the first meetings with her husband was with us and he had other opinion. He insisted very much, he wanted us to put life, hope and law. Remember that? Yeah, yeah. And it was very strange and we said, yes, yes. we don't get the point, what is it? And he said, no, law is important, law is very important. And, and he, I, wanted, he wanted to talk about, uh, about security, and, but she asked him to, to shut up and let her doing what she wanted. She became very harsh and said, okay, yes. we can go for that. And after that? And then after, it was mo much better. And, it was the last time we saw him. خانم خانم آزاد دموکرات روشن فکر مسلمان است. Whenever I go to the provinces, I'm asking him to accompany. He never says no. But he's always saying that I have put the family in a high risk, facing to powerful rich men and warlords. This is what he mentions every day, even before people, that the wife has put the the family, the children in a high-risk situation. And he's mentioning that the dollar and the gun will determine this future destiny of Afghanistan. Because here, very big powers of the world is making the decision. But he always makes this comment. The President Bush is supporting directly Mr. Karzai. In Afghanistan, there is no candidate that has no problem, no problem, no problem, no problem, no problem. These are Democrats in the language. 
عقیبگرا و متعصب هستند در عمل We welcomed the distinguished interim leader of a liberated Afghanistan, Chairman Hamid Karzai. He's always saying that if Mr. Bush is supporting directly Mr. Karzai, and Karzai has worked and have working background with Unical Company, and there is the issue of oil in Central Asia, how it is possible that the people of Afghanistan should determine their destiny? How do you evaluate the accomplishment of this government, Karzai government? How do you evaluate? Well, uh, Karzai government has failed. Fake? Failed. Failed? Yes. What kind of margin do you think you'll win the election by? Uh, you tell them. What kind of margin? This is your job. It's going to be around 80%. Yes. No, no, that would look like uh, a Soviet era election. I don't want it. No. <laughs> No, no, I want a real election. Election in which the, there will be competition. Especially important is that people should be able to vote freely. Absolutely freely. Because it's in my interest. A free vote will get me elected with a good margin. He's not rich, he said. He said he doesn't have property, he doesn't have money. Millions of dollars Karzai is spending from what source? Expending like river. Um, dollars in the south, in the other uh, areas, and the national TV is completely in his uh, campaign. It's not an even field, and she doesn't have much uh, to go with, as Mr. Karzai has so much. The news is his news. Everything is just for him. So how can you then um, judge uh, the, the, the election that is fair? بله <laughs> We have noted that certainly there's been some level of inequity. There are some candidates who have had more resources and some who've had less, which actually is the case, I think, in many countries. It is not comparable. One is uh, doing the campaign with a helicopter, the other one is walking. Yeah? He flies on an American helicopter, doesn't he? He is guarded by American soldiers. He is making his campaign together with the, the ambassador of the United States. And there is no fundamental conflict of interest between uh, Afghanistan and the United States. But uh, I represent the United States. I work uh, for the president of the United States. Uh, I know uh, what my mission is, what my job is, and I have made a commitment to increase security for the American people, but also help the people of Afghanistan who have suffered so much. Commanders are working for him, uh, ministers are working for him, governors are working for him, and the tribal leaders are all distributed money uh, in the South. excellent and among 18 candidates they have given this honor to me the napkin that they tied around the mine of the west they have done it traditionally in the history for kings uh, tying the west giving the words that go and become now the king we are with you it means that. Mubarak, Mubarak. Mubarak. It means for sure I will have the vote of these people. That was the confirmation and the 
a real support from the bottom of their heart. And once they give it to one, they don't give it to the another one. Afghanistan right now is at, the, at a crossroads. It's moving towards democracy, but it's coming from a very old tradition. It's coming from a history in which tribal leaders, shuras, community elders, are accustomed to making decisions for the population, are accustomed to giving directives. The factional leaders are using threats, intimidation, and bribery to secure support uh, from local populations. That's not democracy, and it certainly isn't an atmosphere in which human rights are protected. Deputy Arif is from the Urgun district of the Paktika province. The elders have decided that they all should put their vote for Hamid Karzai in the coming elections. And then I asked him about the elders of Khost saying that those who don't vote for Karzai, their houses will be burned. And he said that the saying and the decision of the elders of Khost, that he had nothing to do with it. The notion of a one person, one vote is very unfamiliar to them. So if they go out actually and say, we are going to burn your houses down, it's certainly very alarming. But and to some extent, I think what they're doing is practicing what they've done in the past. If a mother, a woman, get the success for the coming election, right away the mentality would be changed. Because after 5,000 years, a woman with empty hands can get the trust of people of Afghanistan. I think Masuda's quest for the presidency is tremendous. It certainly makes Afghans, despite of where they stand uh, on the political spectrum, I think it makes most Afghans quite proud. Uh, to show to the world that Afghanistan is not what the Taliban depicted. I'm really having a, a special feeling towards the society, and I'm feeling like Afghan society is my family members. So just being responsible, like a mother is responsible for the family members. Well, I have said to people that uh, Masouda Jalal could be a sleeper or that she could surprise us all. It will reach to its peak uh, once I'm announced I'm the president of the country. Yeah. I hope each and every voter uh, is able to get this information because the, the majority of people do not have the access to radio or to TV and they cannot read. The um, illiteracy rate among women in Afghanistan is 90% and among men it's 80%.
درست؟ از او خاطر بسیار مهم است که او نخوره نامتان پس نشن امضای ما پس نشن نگاه کنین که اونجا که برین از روی از این شما را در اکسن فر دیگه میمانه که برین سنف بالاتر میگه که این کورس آیا بر شما کمک میکنه که در انتخابات بر کی رای بتین یا سر انتخابات چه قسم فکر کنین آیا سواد آموزی بر شما کمک میکنه کمک میکنه چرا نه کمک میکنه آدم میفهمه یک چیزا یک نام یک کاندیدا These literacy courses have really beautiful side effects that I never thought about. Some of the previous graduates have told me that now, uh, after 20, 30 years of marriage, they have began to write love letters to each other, and that was one of their long wishes, and they can do it now, and why not? Unfortunately, you know, we have only 22 days to elections and the United Nations um, has not fully began to tell Afghans the complete procedure of elections. I would say that the voter education campaign is one where there's been tremendous effort put into it, a lot of resources. But look at where we are. This is a country that's coming out of over two decades of war. Eight, zero, three, three. So the total of our batch is 3,308 votes. This has to be same, same as a number written in a slip in the beginning when we were taking for the from the reconciled ballot boxes. If not, you are in trouble. There's been some concern that people might be able to vote more than once because people have, to some extent, been able to get more than one registration card. To prevent that from happening, an ink will be applied to the finger of each person as they're getting their ballot card. This is the ballot. Uh, paper with the 18, the 18 candidates' pictures. The box is next to them. They go in, they mark the, can the box of the candidate that they want, and they put it into the secret ballot box. موږ په دې ټرینګ کې په دې اشتراک کړی دی چې دغه د انتخاباتو پروسه زموږ د پاره نوې ده او موږ غواړو چې د دې په مورد باندې ډېر ښه ډېر څه شی زده کړو نو راغلي یو چې په دې ټرینګ کې موږ یې سه واخلو او د دوی نه څه شی زده کړو او خپلو زون ته انتقال کړو We have uh, registered more than what we were estimating in the beginning, and 46% of that voter registrants uh, number is women, which is a good sign for us. We are moving towards a de democratic state, and people are uh, totally involved in this process, and for the first time in the history of Afghanistan, they can vote and they can elect uh, their president.
ساتو گران وطن والو زمانم تاجور کاکر سابقه در شد و چهار دو وزارت بیینه وام وس البته پا افغانستان کی جوان کوه ما استاسی یا مجاهد خور استاسی یا ماجرا خور چه ماجرات میمتر کردی او په هر حالت کی ز استاسی وطن کوه نن را قلیم چی تاسته د انتخابات و باره کی تا معلومات در کم در خاطر از ما اینجا آمدیم امروز شما را نشان میتیم که اونا شما میگن که بر شما هیچ کس کمک نکده و حقوق شما باید تامین شوه و در آینده هم و هر کس که فیلم میبینه بفهمه که بر شما تا بال هیچ کمک نشده باید حقوق شما تامین شوه ما معلم سر بیچ مردم خیرات میگیرند دقت دار استاد شدن برو با کلاش میتا اینجا مردم آمدن که برای انتخابات ثبت نام کنند اینجا هم انتخابات است کسایی که در اینجا کارت رای دادن گرفتن برای انتخابات اینجا میاین با دل خود به هر کس که رای دادن رای میده این میگن انتخابات بله یک خوشگاه داشتم که از تقریبا دو سال که اینا آمدن مردم آمدن از اینا گفتن برشان وعده دادن که ما کمک میکنیم تا امروز هیچ کس به اینا کمک نکده از اعضای ملل متحد اینا شکایت داشتن که اینا آمدن خبر ما رو نگرفتن کمک نکدن و دیگه شکایت شانی بود که تا حال مردم می آمدن هر کس برای ما آمدن بازی کاندیدا پول واده کردن بازی برای ما زمین و جای واده کردن اما ما تا بال نخواستیم برای کس رای بدیم و حال خود تا من دیر وجیب آقای از نگاه شریعت چون خود به نام رئی جمهور خونده می شد از نگاه شریعت زن حق نداره رئی جمهور شود درست است که خوار ما مسود جلال یک کاندید است بر شترام دارم اما چون از ای که ما اساسیت ها و مشکلات وطن خود خوب در درک کده میتونم و ما یقین دارم که مسود جلال نمیتونه که رئی جمهور شوه و آقای کرزای دمی دو سال با ازارها مشکلات باز هم تانسته پرزن کارهای بسیار خوب کده درست از باز مشکلات در حکومت آقای کرزای بوده او را ما چون پوشی کده نمیتونم اما دا پالی از او کارهایی که آقای کرزای کده راستی اگر دیگه کس می بود ما فکر نمی کدم که اقلا بتانه 20 فیصد قدم ورداره دیگه با خاطر از او که دو سال کارهای کد و تجربه پیدا کد آقای کرزای Badakhshan was suggesting for me to come over, and they said that the people over there decided to vote for you. Badakhshan is uh, her homeland. She has to go to Badakhshan. So what people of Afghanistan is uh, thinking, and that is uh, my thinking too, okay, the country is going towards peace. And uh, there is no need for war, and people of Afghanistan do not want any more war. They want stability, peace, security, uh, safety, and reconstruction of their country.
و ملت حق دارد تا کاندید را که مورد حضرت بی بی آیشه صدیقه رضی الله عنه رهبری جنگ جمل به عهده داشت که 36000 صحابه به زیر تور به وفاقیت رسانید بنوان متوجه هستن که مشکل از نظر دین به رهبری سیاسی زنان مسلمان در کشورهای اسلامی وجود ندارد The people of Afghanistan they've lost trust over men fighting over power so now uh, they see a candidate uh, who is a citizen like them I want a government for people of Afghanistan made by people of Afghanistan belonging to people of Afghanistan no distance in between people and government and government is servant for people uh, of Afghanistan and supporters of people rights I will be acting like a servant reconstructing the country based on social justice that uh, everybody all social groups can be participating equally I think Afghans want to experience this elections in a very bad way. I mean, we are on pins and needles. I am that way. Every second of the day, I'm thinking of the elections. Tell me, so there's a report that if the, between the time the votes are cast and the votes are counted, if any of the presidential candidates are assassinated or killed, the whole election is null and void. Is that right? Well, um, yes, there's something uh, like there that. Is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Afghan and American troops have sealed off the diplomatic district in the Afghan capital, Kabul, after an explosion. The Kabul police chief said a rocket exploded near the headquarters of the American-led coalition forces. Apparently the, the rocket hit and exploded and pieces went all the way around and hit car windshields, hit tents and hit some buildings over there. Zarara <laughs> She says the fact of the matter is that wherever Qanuni has gone, he's been received very warmly by the people. And he has started a new system of education. He's really paid a lot of attention. Well, you can tell there are three who, who where they are going. Maybe, well, <laughs> I can tell you that yes. our field expert has said that um, he's very strong in Bamiyan and he's probably going to win there. Anuni? Yeah. Wow, that's news to me. That, uh, oh, Karzai is not liked at all there. میگه که من بردان بگویم که نفری خود مام که در بامی Let me ask you, we have some tea. Let's go to the other uh, room and sit there. Who's coming, Masuda? No. Masuda has a problem. I'm calling and I think she's stuck in Badakhshan. We are worried what has happened. 
I hear it that there was an explosion. Today is the last day of campaigning in the elections, which have been overshadowed by threats of sabotage by the Taliban. President Hamid Karzai's running mate, Ahmed Zia Massoud, was traveling in the northeastern city of Faisalabad when his convoy was attacked. At least one person has died, a number was injured. We're worried because Massoud um, Karzai's VP is in the same city as uh, Masood Jalal, and they're campaigning in the same place. And um, hopefully there's not a domino effect of one candidate and the next. So Mr. Kazemi is trying to hold a B get a hold of BBC, see if anything's going on with Masuda. She never says vote for me. She says vote for your sister, Dr. Masuda Jalal. And, and she says, uh, tell your friends to vote for the woman. Do you think many women will vote for her? No. She is not a woman's rights issues oh. candidate. No, 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 no. All of them talk about women's rights, mm -hmm. but women's rights has not been an issue in this election. And she is not a ticket for women. She is a ticket for Afghanistan, that Afghanistan needs a woman. I'm looking for a number. I want to contact with Badakhshan, but I don't know why we cannot contact today. What is it? It's hard not having communication. That's the problem. There is no matter, everything is okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And across Afghanistan tomorrow, 7 a.m. Kabul time, Afghan time, the polls will be opening. No one expects these elections to be perfect, but the overwhelming consensus among Afghans is that they're certainly worth having. I think that, you know, this is our first elections. I want it to happen. Nobody is, is knocking more doors. They are so excited to go. And most and everybody is already gone. I don't think that we will have a perfect election. And the terrain is very new, the action is very new, the process is very new, the people are new, and I don't expect it to be perfect. 
سلام سلام از خانم ها کس آمده؟ از خانم ها تل کس آمده؟ آبال یا آمال خب این کارتم اوجا برسون خب سبب اجازه اجازه میتونم؟ آه نی کمرو اجازه نمیتونم سبب کمرو برسون چیستم؟ شما او یک دفعه که تیزی رو خب Yes. It's very exciting. This is the school that my my aunts, my family went to. Girls' school. It's right. It's very close to my house. Uh, my house is about a couple of streets down, and so this was the neighborhood of my family. And to be able to come back and uh, to have a role in uh, the political future of this country is, uh, as an Afghan, not just as a member of the United Nations, is. Uh, beyond anything that I can actually articulate. I think the media is gathering at Mr. Qanani's house to uh, follow him to go vote at 9 o'clock. Okay. Yes, 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 confirm. Yes, 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 I can remember, yes. Well, um, a quarter past 10 o'clock. Uh, please come to the office. Uh, we will come together uh, about quarter past 10 o'clock and uh, we'll go for uh, voting 15 minutes past 10 o'clock. Hello? Hello? سلام <laughs> 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 I'm <laughs> <laughs> Hi, this. The women that I was standing in line with were all noting that this was a, a great responsibility that they were bearing, that this was going to be a time where they were going to have an impact on history. That's why they were here. Some had driven from far areas in order to get over here. So it's significant. People realize how, how important this process is. ما به خاطر به اینجا آمدیم که تایری زعیم ملی کشوری خدا انتخاب کنیم و در بسندقه رای خود بندازیم. I came across a woman who could barely walk up the stairs to the voting site. She must have been 85, 90. And I asked her why she came out, and she said, <laughs> she said, I want to do this once in my lifetime, and I know I probably won't be around for the next one. And it's, it's, it, it you know, it makes you very emotional seeing that. <laughs> Uh, her husband came, voted, came back home, washed his hands, and went out again. Well, let's see. She said uh, it goes away with soap completely. That's what her husband's happened. But, well, I'm not going to be voting a second time. I think that a more serious problem is in the booths. You know, they're going inside the booth telling the women what to do. And the people themselves are, are quite conscious that this has to be a very thorough process, that the integrity has to be maintained. Uh, you saw when I left, she said, oh, you have to fold in a way that no one can see your vote. 
So everyone is very aware of how this process should really protect the integrity of the secrecy of the vote. And I'm also worried that there are no observers from the candidates. The way it's set up, it's an impossibility for the candidates' observers to watch what's going on. Due to security concerns, we had a much smaller number of international monitors than we would have liked to see. But uh, international organizations within the country, embassies, are having a physical presence at the booths, which we say is important for the process. He says he, he's from Masuda's office. This lady gave her vote and she washed it and it went away. Before I voted, but uh, the ink is gone. How, it just you didn't want just, to just uh, during the washing with soap. Uh, We're contacting headquarters uh, right now uh, to make sure that this is disseminated. It's only, I think, in some of the polling stations in Kabul. They came with the wrong ink, so they're working. Uh, they're going to work on it right now. But if you get any other complaints, you call me. No, no, go ahead. Um, but call, call if you have any problems as, as well for security, okay? Okay, bye. Yeah, so in any case, it's, this was, uh, it's an isolated problem. It's, this should not happen where the, the ink uh, comes off, but there's a, a ink that, that stays for seven days. And that's the one that they're going to be using uh, right now. Is yours on or off? on but uh, it's something I'm actually uncomfortable. Um, they say election officials were using the wrong kind of ink to mark people's hands um, but we're not given the exact detail and, and also which candidates have made which complaint. Hello. I think this is uh, uh, in the media by now and I heard that in national TV it is already in the national TV that the ink is going off very easily. So uh, people have lost their trust. But, uh, we cannot uh, give credit to the election up to now. Yeah. Did you have contacts with other candidates who think the same way as you do, that they this election is me, not yeah. being fair? They're calling me, but I haven't made the decision so far to join them. The people of Afghanistan wanted a transparent, healthy uh, election process. If it is done by mistake, it is a big carelessness. Mr. Kanuni just spoke to Rina at the UN and expressed his concerns about what he's been hearing and they're telling districts and polling stations not to vote anymore. Wow, this is bad. This is very bad. This is 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 bad. This Every candidate wanted to speak to the American ambassador to be in touch with the head of the JEMB or President Karzai. Everybody wanted to speak with the American ambassador. Everybody said, well, call Khalil Zad. He's got to come up with a solution. That amazes me. You know, everybody, every candidate knows who's running this election. Bale.
I'm not okay. in this meeting. I don't have anything to say about this meeting, so I don't want to mislead you. All right. جایی که باشیم مثلا رو گذاشتی از آن رو دیگه باشیم اونا لعنت خوبست چه کنافر است؟ باشه چه بیخی؟ اونا جلسه خلاص میشه. 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 اونا جلسه خلاص Today's election is not a legitimate election. They told the people you should vote for Mr. Karzai. We shouted to the whole world two and a half months ago that Mr. Karzai must resign. The election commission must be replaced. Nobody listened to us. Any government established by it as a result of this election would not be a legitimate government. The boycott call came. This was very unfortunate, and it hurt me very much. We believe that the candidate's demand to nullify the election is unjustified and would not do service to the people of Afghanistan. From what we've heard so far, there are 16 candidates that have dropped out of the elections. Two remaining candidates are Masuda and Karzai. Um, all the other candidates apparently have decided this was an unfair election and have dropped out. Everybody was asking me, what's your stand? Because Karzai is happy, the rest is not happy. Uh, I said that, okay, uh, enthusiasm of people, great participation of people, I appreciate. And it is a great success. But for the violation, that is like a black shadow coming to a shining day, uh, that should be investigated. الهاج دکتر مسعود جلال با توجه به اهمیت موضوع و جستجوی راه های حل آن با اصدار اعلامیه تشکیل کمیسیون از نمایندگان کاندیدای محترم ناظرین جهانی و نماینده سازمان ملل متحد در شرایط عادلانه صورت گیرد آقای جان آرمون آمده یک خانی مومده یک خانی به نام امیری بسیار اصحاب خراب شد ما گفتم ما خود تلفون نکرده بودیم خود آقای جان آرمو تلفون کرد که ما میخوایم با خانی مسعود جلال ملاقات کنیم و ما گفتیم از هر دفعه بفرمایید با افتخار آقای جان آرمو میره و دیدن قانونی دفعه پیشتم خانم جلال گفت که ما میخوایم با تو ملاقات بکنیم باز نخواست که ملاقات بکنیم و دمی نگره ما از هم زمان این زنه که خیمه بگم که دکتر مسعود هست خیلی دیگه چی دیدنی تو چی فایده the JNB, as we stated uh, this morning, believes that the problems with the marking had to do with problems with the application of the ink and confusion as to which marker pen to use. I can't believe that uh, all of this was not tested beforehand, and it was left till election day to be determined how the ink works. It is a huge thing, yeah, but it's a minor mistake. What happened is that Pens, one for marking the finger and one for marking the ballot, were confused, were mixed up. The training we had for about 120,000 people in the last weeks were done with a normal marker. So the, the polling staff did not do a mistake, basically. They just didn't know which pen to use for what. They waited in line, they were committed, and they voted waited patiently in line, often in snow, rain, and dust. All the candidates must respect <coughs> the very fact that the Afghan people have come out of their homes in snow and rain and dust. <laughs> Do they know his Yeah. Uh, they don't know, but I don't know. Well, I was told, yeah. Do you want me to bring him? 
to your office? Yes, yes. Okay, I'll bring him directly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Just bring him directly. Okay, thank no you. No problem, yeah. Yeah, if you are going to film, mm -hmm. uh, just be over, over there. there. You gotta make them nervous right here at the. Okay, okay. Good day. Okay. <laughs> So the old man is going to be the old man. I think they will do it. This is a proposal. This is my suggestion <coughs> that the, the, the cases of this honey sea that has been at risk, has been uh, raised, and uh, uh, it should be investigated. And uh, in this investigation committee, there will be representatives from all uh, candidates, including my own team. There, they will work together over these cases, and based on uh, the result of that investigation, then uh, there will be decision made that it might be re-election. Are you still in the race? <coughs> I am a candidate, of have course. You, you, yeah. have not, you have not withdrawn. I am a candidate, but I have not uh, voted yet. Yeah? Hello. 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 بسیار قدرت داره کوشش میکنیم که یک پروسی بسیار شفاف باشه اگه یادتون بیاد هم لوی جرگی استراری و لوی جرگی قانون اساسی در دویشت که پکسا باز میشتک و کل رعی ها رو نشان میدوند برای کلیگی باز هم هم درسته کلش بسیار شفاف واضی میباشه دیگه اگه کدام چیز ضرورت داشته بشه نمره تلیفون خود پیشتان از بخم دیگه باز اگه آقای فلیپ و گرانده ایک ماون جان آرناد هم بوده ایک اونا هم سر اصلا خود آقای جان آرناد هم خواه بسیار گفت پس عمومی است هم پس هم تر باز خود شان هم برد هم زنگ می زنن Several thousands of people voted by free will, by their heart, by free will, that they wanted to vote to this woman candidate. I wanted the new Afghanistan to be built with the hand of a mother. So I wanted the mother founded 
new Afghanistan. Uh, and I thought there is the opportunity. I try, maybe if I can get the opportunity, and I could do that. The world would have been happy, and the Afghanistan people would have been happy. Mr. Is your President, idea what will you do after you're re-elected to make sure women are included in your administration? They are already, there will be more. We need more. How will you encourage them? I will encourage them, I will ask them, I will request them, I will bring them in, they'll be part of the government. We don't need to do that anymore, ma'am. The Afghan women have taken charge of their lives, of their destiny. The voters, my supporters, they wanted me to be a cabinet member if there was a request. What I want is their wishes. What I want is what they want. I'm ready for any sacrifice or any service that the people of Afghanistan wants. I'm now pleased to call on Her Excellency, Ms. Masoud al-Halai, Minister of Women's Affairs of Afghanistan. Bismillah rahman rahim Dear Madam Chair, I have the honor to convey to all of you the warm greetings, expression of support and solidarity of the Islamic Republic of Afghanistan and its people on this significant gathering of advocates and supporters of the global movement for women's empowerment and gender equality. I plan to run for presidency of Afghanistan uh, again and again and again. It doesn't matter if I lose, that is not a failure. I counted success. It is waking up the mentality of leadership of women of Afghanistan. And I will keep independent and uh, I will keep going and I won't give up. I never give up, I'm committed. <laughs> They waited in line, they were committed, and they voted. It does feel like the 2000 U.S. presidential elections. <laughs> were there uh, opportunities for people to vote multiple times? Sure. A lot of people learned from Florida that yes, there are deadlines, but uh, it could take us some time to uh, resolve things. Yeah.